Thanks. Thanks. Happy Thanks, holidays, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Moving on from the business administrator A, we have over the limit or under arrest, 2008 year-end crackdown grant application. It's an application. Um, Any questions or comments? Yeah. Wait a minute, Council President. Where are we now? Council, this is authorizes the township to apply for a $5,000 state grant. Right. Any questions? And B, resolution authorizing grants with the NJDCA Neighborhood Preservation Program. This is $25,000 additional to the Neighborhood Preservation Program for planning and management of the program. Okay. And then we have another one, resolution authorizing grant, NJDCA DCR lift. This is to apply for a lead abatement grant and a piece of equipment that will help us analyze any homes that might have lead mm -hmm. in the amount of $35,000. And then D, resolution authorizing auction of equipment. Any questions or comments? All right, moving on to the bid of a contract for automated refuse collection parts. Council President, sir. Um, everything know, sir, is, nothing is in order here because okay. uh, this is in order for the, um, for the regular meeting. Okay. So if we could. If you could just give me a moment. Sure. 653. Sure. I'm hoping I can find it in short order. Well, the councilwoman is looking for that. This is just our annual renewal of a contract to um, provide parts for our garbage trucks. Okay. It wasn't to purchase any, it, right? It was just for parts. Is, Correct. is anything is down or is it? Uh, this is, is just our annual contract to be able to replace parts when we need parts for the, uh, for the equipment. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. The Water for State contract for stationary and office supplies. This is also our annual contract to award a um, a state contract for supplies, uh, all the departments. Is this, uh, Council President? Yes, ma'am. Uh, is this uh, who we ordinarily? We normally, Council President, use WB Mason. They're no longer on the state contract. The new vendor in the state contract is called Action Office Supplies. Right, and um, do they charge less than? The, the uh, prior uh, supplier? They charge approximately the same. The discount's approximately the same. Oh, then but why do we change? Were we dissatisfied with the other? No, the other one's no longer on the state contract. And this allows us to normally contract directly with vendors that are on the state contract. Oh, all right. But th this is done without bid. That's correct, because it's on the state contract. That's correct. I'm not real happy with the, not, the no bidding. I mean, we're talking $75,000, you know. That's, that's correct. It's under state contract, and that's the way we've been operating um, for the last three years. Mm, I know. Thank and, you. And prior to that, there's nothing new here. It's just a renewal of a contract for supplies. Okay. Anything else? Okay, elevator maintenance and repair. Council President, this is a renewal of our contract for maintenance to the elevators that we have in the township. Okay. Any questions on that? The sewer pump rental. Award a bit of contract. Any questions? Yeah, Council President. Yes, ma'am. We've been using Godwin, I believe. Have we not been using Godwin satisfactorily all these years? That, that's correct. Um, and why are we now using a firm out of ba Bakersfield, California? Well, they do have a local office, number one, and they were low bid. Low, low bid by, um, I don't remember it being that much lower, and as I recall. Um, also, they had an exception, and they yes, were low I, bid. Yes, I did want to ask about the exceptions. I mean, you know, why would we go to a California firm 3,000 miles away? What would the lead, would the lead time, miss, may I? Address Mr. Roderman? Sure. Um, is there a difference in lead time as far as getting uh, the, the uh, equipment 
that, that you would need, Mr. No, Roderman? No, anyone that bid had to uh, comply with the, uh, the um, response times and the availability. Basically what came in, um, and we've had a good relationship with Godwin Pumps, and, and there's nothing that's changed with that, um, but this bid did come in lower. I spoke to purchasing about it, and they felt there was no reason to reject the low bid. We spoke with the vendor, uh, Barry Miller from the sewer department, uh, reached out to them, and really came back with nothing that would prohibit them from getting the bid. Um, it, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this, um, if you look at page three, and I realize that that's not the full amount, but we're talking um, less than $300 difference, right? If you look at page three, am I am I reading it correctly? Well, if you're looking at the let me see. on the bid summary sheet, right? The yes. Bid summary sheet. That's what I was looking at. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as far as the aggregate, yep, that's correct. You know, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of like. Well, we're tentative about it as well because we've had a good relationship with Godwin. It's right. just, um, again, you know, when the bids do come back in, and unless we can find a, a reason, um, if they're responsible and responsive, uh, it's very hard to say no. And I'm going under the advice of our purchasing agent. You know, I Council mean, if President it were a significant I difference, I could certainly understand mm -hmm. going to someone different. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, for all the money that we waste, spend, use, I mean, whatever term you would like to use, uh, you know, uh, why wouldn't you go with someone who has provided good service over the years? Council President, if I might, the local public contract law really doesn't provide any latitude for making exceptions based on prior service or a small difference within the bid prices. One, once you open bids and all the bidders are deemed to have submitted responsive bids, you, you're obligated under the law to award to the lowest responsive responsible bidder. You, you just don't have the ability not to. I mean, I understand what you're saying. It, and we, um, we are starting a new relationship with this company and hopefully they fulfill their obligation. And if they don't, we'll, we'll take the necessary steps to disqualify it. But we're hoping that, you know, this company is going to be able to produce what they say they can. And I really don't have any reason not to believe that at this point, and we have no history or exposure to them. Um. Mr. Muscola has a point. Uh, Council President, can we ask the, um, our attorney what our obligations are here based on the actual law so that way we'll, we don't end up in court? Well, I, I agree with Mr. Holberg that, that um, we go through the process and we have to award to the lowest responsible bidder. We, we go through the process and that is what's being done here. So. Uh, but I know we, we've, at other times, we have gone with, with, we've not gone with the lowest, okay? And I mean, again, it's, it's a 300, we're talking a, a $175,000 contract and we're talking $300, basically, right? It's a $175,000 contract, correct? Uh, not to exceed, I realize it's not to exceed. We're talking about the same one, aren't we? Six fifty-six. Mm -hmm. Mr. Holbrook, in response, I mean, I I can only remember one other bid, and I think it was the award of a uh, a trash vehicle, where the lower bid low bid did not receive, but they had taken some pretty significant exceptions to the specification yes. that was published. So I, remember that. I mean, that provides you the option to say. You didn't meet the specifications that we put out there, and that does not appear to be the case here. They, the low bidder took no exceptions. Okay. All right. But you'll keep your eye on it, correct, Mr. Uh, Roman? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, Council President, mm -hmm. if they do not live up to our specifications and our expectations, legally, is there any way that we could get out of this mm -hmm. with, without doing harm to the township? Well, our, our uh, council president, our contract, our standard form of contract does say that if there's a material deviation from the specifications, then we have the right to give them notice and an opportunity to cure. If they don't cure, then we can terminate. 
anybody know anybody from this firm out of Bakersfield, California? I mean, you know, any personal contact with anybody to, no? Just, okay, all right, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Moving on, overhead door repair. Any questions or comments?